Hey guys, if you're having syncing issues, I'm going to show you how to fix it. First of all, really, really super incredibly important that you have your wallet backed up and you have your private keys saved. Can't stress this enough. If you don't do that, you can lose all your coins doing this. So, <clears throat> Nahil uh, made a video on how to do that. It's also to fix your syncing issues, but I found another way to do it as well. It works for me. It's worked every time. I've been away at work for a couple of months. Just came home, so I had to go through it again. It was out of sync. Um, it also works for the missing, uh, the incorrect balance because you've got your balance on the blockchain and then you've got your balance in the wallet. The blockchain's always correct. You might have a discrepancy. Hill said there's a server error. It's, they're trying to figure out at the moment to correct that. So, uh, syncing issues, I'm going to show you how to do this. What I do, like I said, first of all, make sure you have your private keys. And then uninstall the wallet. Now, just uninstalling isn't enough. <clears throat> isn't enough, excuse me. What you'll need to do is go through, this is what I do anyway. Works for me. Uh, go up to help menu, debug. Now you see in data directory, this directory here, copy it, go into your file explorer, put the address up here, paste, enter, now you're in, this is all your Eureka stuff. What I do is go back out to roaming, just or just up one, so you can see Eureka coin, I right click and just delete the folder. I first uninstall a wallet, and then I delete that folder. <clears throat> delete that folder. All right? So, then what you need to do is go to EurekaCoin.io and uh, download the wallet, reinstall it. Um, then you might have problems syncing still, and what you need to do is... I'll put this, I'll put this in, uh, I'll put this, these in the, uh, in the uh, description down below. These are your ad nodes and zap wallet. Zap wallets equals two. That's supposed to help with your incorrect balance. The ad node on the bottom, this is a new one. So I'll go back out and show you how to do that. So what you want to do as soon as you download the wallet is go into settings. Go into options, you can uh, go to open configuration file, take from the description down below in my video and paste that in up here. These are all the ad nodes and then make sure you hit file, save, right? And close that, you may need to close the wallet and restart it. And uh, then it should sync, no problem. After it's synced, after, then you can import your private keys. You need to follow Nabil's video, Nahil's video. I put that in the description below. Like I said, make sure you have all that information ready. Make sure you have your private keys recorded. And then uh, as soon as it's updated, you can go into settings, encrypt your wallet again. <clears throat> make sure you write that down or save it, or if it's a phrase that you remember, but do not lose it. Then you'll have to unlock the wallet. And not just for staking, you need to unlock wallet. And then you'll go in there and uh, it's in the debug menu under console, uh, import, import private keys. Give it a space. Right click and paste your uh, private key in there, however many you have, and it'll, it'll update. I just did this yesterday and it works a treat, it works every time. I've had to do it a couple of times, it's getting better. And actually it started staking really fast this time. So anyways, I hope that helped. Uh, give it a go, see if it works for you, let me know. Bye.